What's up, y'all? It's the Blind Bearded Chef Z. That is me. I'm about to make some smothered beef neck chops. So I'm getting my kitchen together at my new place. My oven's still not in yet. So I'm at my mom's house cooking because I'm about to go from electric to gas. So I'm about to start cooking back on gas. My mom got a gas stove, so getting a little training in on gas. And so, uh, Hopefully, I will be back in my kitchen in a few weeks. So, what is it? March 3rd, 2023? All right. Let's make some beef neck chops right quick. One of my favorites that I don't eat that much because I don't eat that much beef. But I like beef neck chops. All right. Let's get busy. <laughs> All right, y'all. They go me some beef chops. About to cook at my mom's house today. I'm about to just season them very simple. Seasoning all which is seasoned salt, onion powder, garlic powder, um, black pepper, a little salt, and let's cook this fresh beef. All right. All right. Got my meat all seasoned up, as y'all see there. Season to your taste. Now, I'm about to sprinkle a little flour on it, because we're going to brown this down. So just sprinkle a little flour on your meat like that. Hop on in now. All right. Be right back. Got my meat floured and seasoned. I'm using the old time Magnum Light Pot right there. I have me about a high, between a fourth cup and um, two third cups of oil. No, about one third cup of oil. All right, let's fry this down. All right, my oil heated up in the pot, y'all. My old school Magnum Light Pot. And let's add the meat in there. It don't matter which side, flowers on both sides. All right, got them all in the pot, but not all. I got nine in there, I got three left. So I'm about to let them brown on this side for about yeah, maybe three to five minutes. When I get ready to flip them over, I'll show y'all. All right, we want a nice brown crust on the bottom. Then we'll flip them over because we want that fun at the bottom of the pot. All right. All right, so I got them flipped over after about five minutes. See how pretty and brown that is? So, but to let them brown on the other side for about five minutes, and then I'm going to take them out. And I see that old school Magnum Light Pot. This is my grandmother's old pot that my mom had. So this is the old school Magnum Light Pot. Can't find these no more unless you get Mag Light. Mag Light, yeah. So there we go. Don't let them fry down on this side. And we'll be ready to make that gravy out the wall. All right. It's been about four to five minutes on the other side. I can go on and take them out of the pot. And I can go and put them in that. Let me grab them from them. All right. I'm going to put in the same bowl that I floured and seasoned them in. Now yeah, I'm, record I'm recording and cooking today. So I've got, I'm holding this counter in one hand and trying to cook with the other. <laughs> I poured some of the grease off. And you see I got all that fun at the bottom of the pot. Leave that. That's what's going to make your gravy good and brown. Now let's saute down one onion and one green bell pepper. Since my mom don't have the kind of chips I got in my house, I'm going to take a spatula. And get some of that fun up. And after a while, I add a little water to pick it up also. Then we'll add our garlic. Y'all see, I add about a half a cup of water just to pick that fine up at the bottom of the pot. That's all you want to do. You want to keep that down there. That's all your flavor. That's from your meat, your seasoning. So keep that on there. All right. All right, I'm going to let my onions and bell peppers cook down for about 12 to about 12 minutes and see if they picked up all that fun from the bottom now I'm going to add my garlic this is about five cloves of garlic all right only gonna cook this garlic for about a minute or two don't want to burn it I hope y'all can see I'm holding this phone and record y'all <laughs> All right, been about one minute for that garlic. I'm gonna add about mm, 
That's about one. And this is about two tablespoons of flour. That's gonna help our gravy thicken. Okay. Help thicken our gravy right here. All right, we're gonna add the meat back into the pot. Add the meat back into the pot. All right, now let's cover this with about eight cups of water. The reason why I'm not using, ooh, I'm probably fogging up. Reason why I'm not using beef broth is because you can if you want to, but I'm just using eight cups of warm water to let this smother down because because this meat got bones in it. As the um as the water starts smothering the beef, the the marrow from the bones is going to give you that the marrow from the bones is going to give you that good um that good beef broth in the gravy okay all right y'all end up putting 10 cups of water where it covered the meat now i got it on medium and i'm about to let this smother down for about 45 minutes to an hour and low and slow and good and tender and y'all see how good my gravy gonna look all right beef neck check <laughs> beef neck chops the old school way all right all right there go the beef neck chops y'all they are done after about an hour i'll let it cook down for about an hour see the nice brown gravy there we go now we're gonna cook some rice with it got some cabbage cooking all right and that's how i do my old school <laughs> beef meat